When I've been coaching clients, I've often heard people say they'd like to relocate into the town centre because they know that that is more likely to get them more business, more customers, more traffic. But something came to my notice that's quite staggering and I wanted to share this with you. I realised that everyone's been making a presumption, including myself. And it was quite mind-blowing because it was so different to my way of thinking that you may even, after hearing this, consider opening a new office. So in today's video, I'm going to show you why moving office to the town centre may be the best idea you could ever have. I'm going to show you the easiest way to put your business there or nearby so that you can go to the top of rankings. And I'll explain what that mistake is that everyone seems to be currently making, including myself. But first, the elephant in the room, or the right way we'd say it would be the Google business profile on the roundabout. Uh, what's actually happening? Why, why is that the case? Well, interestingly, it's not the center of town as such. So to explain the situation, I'm going to use my hometown, Bournemouth. So Bournemouth is a business town, it's a seaside town, has stunning beaches and has a population of over half a million people. And to let you in on the mistake that most business owners are making, I'm going to take you there and I'm going to interview some of the public to make my point. So the centre of the town is here. And yet if I do a search on Google Maps, it says the centre of the town is here. Now this to local residents is known as at Lansdowne. It's a suburb of Bournemouth, as you can see here. And actually it's almost a mile away from the town centre. Well, do you know where the town centre is? Sorry? Town centre? So as you can see, it's quite different. In fact, almost a mile away. Oh, mate, do you know which way the town centre is? The town centre? Town centre, yeah, just keep going this way. OK, thanks. But the end of the road is a bit safer. OK, cheers. Do you know which way the town centre is? Do you know which way the town centre is? Town centre, just straight. Oh, OK, thanks. Oh, uh, thanks. Where the town centre is. Alright, thanks. Is this the Bournemouth Town Centre? Is this the Bournemouth Town Centre? Yes, it is. Yes. Alright, thanks. And therefore, if you were thinking of moving your business towards the town centre in my town, Bournemouth, you would be a mile out from where Google thinks the town centre is. Now here's a tool that I use all the time to rank for my clients. It's uh, Locado. It's a really useful tool. But what it does, it tells you where you rank in relation to as if someone was standing in that spot. So you can see a mile makes a big difference. And the nearer you are to the town centre, the more the competition is. But if Google's thinking the town centre is a mile away from where everyone else thinks it is, and then you can take some advantage of that because the competition won't be so big. So how's this going to make you number one? Well, when someone searches in Google for a Bournemouth restaurant, a Bournemouth coffee shop, a solicitor in the Bournemouth area, Google has to know where it thinks Bournemouth is. And then what it generally will do is it'll serve up two or three businesses that are close to the Bournemouth center that it believes. And maybe I have one perhaps a bit further away that's got some authenticity, or maybe it'll be trialing one or two others as well. But when it produces its results, and all it's got to go on is the word Bournemouth, and it's then someone outside of that area, it's going to have to serve up something that's based on where it thinks the centre of Bournemouth is. If I'm honest, it's a bit more complex than that, but for the sake of what we're doing today, that will make some sense. Now, since the vicinity update, which happened a year or so ago, being in the area and the vicinity of where you're searching is also a key factor. And Google calls the center of a town the centroid. So every town, every city, every village, Google's already put a pin there that it says is the center. And sometimes it gets it right, but in most cases, it's quite a way off from where most locals think the centre is, as we saw in our video. And yet that's a real important ranking factor in the algorithm, that having your office, having your shop near what's considered the centre by Google is a big ranking factor. And so much so that businesses often will move offices 
to that area. So you can imagine if I could stick my web design, GMB coaching, SEO that I do, if I could make my office there on that roundabout, then if anyone was searching for a Bournemouth web designer or a Bournemouth uh, Google business coach, I would be number one because I'm right there in the center. The competition wouldn't stand a chance. So what is that big mistake and how can you take advantage of it? Well, what you should do is do a search for your business and then see how close it is to that centroid. So put in your particular town or your city and see if it's as near as you think you are. Because it may be that you're closer than you think or you could be further away than you think. But it's also an opportunity to move locations or if you're looking at moving locations, this may be what you're looking for. But you may be saying, well, I can't afford to put a shop in the middle of Bournemouth Town Centre or in Lansdowne a mile down the road, which would be an even bigger advantage. So what am I meant to do? Well, there are still some things you can do. So that does raise a question. Is it possible to get a location of your business in an area without breaking Google's guidelines? For example, did you notice those mailboxes that were in Lansdowne? Would it be okay to go to those mailboxes, register a business there, and then if you get a postcard, you can then send that back and you can verify your business? Or is it possible to just find a cheap way to rent a room or the back of a shop even in that area. Well, renting the back of a shop isn't as unusual as it sounds. In fact, a while ago I read the autobiography of Richard Branson, and uh, he's a millionaire who started out in Oxford Street renting the backs of shoe shops, and it was a, a really great strategy. He was setting up a record shop. He wanted teenagers, college students to come and listen to records and sell them, but he had no offices. But he knew that the footfall was in Oxford Street in London. So he went to the shoe shops and asked them if they had a back room or a room above their shop. Could he rent it out for free? But he would increase their business. And the way it worked was he had this free room. But of course, the university students, the college students would then go through the shop, buy shoes and then go up to his office, listen to records, buy records. And that's how he started several of his shops in Oxford Street and in London. And then gradually from that, he built his Virgin Empire. And of course, today he has planes, trains and all sorts of other things under his label of Virgin. So renting just a small room somewhere may be the best idea you could come up with. But back to the idea of putting your business in the middle using a mailbox or using a PO box. Is that OK? Well, to answer that question, you need to watch this video next. I'll see you on that video.